somehow do. I managed to somehow not have a very good signal with the Yaso 897. Something I'll have to check out. What it is, the signal on VHF has gone down. It's no longer showing S plus on the signal meter. It's now down to S6 and today I was picking on the on the frequency the local uh, pre news net for the GB to RS news. And that was down to S6 as well. And it's only local, it's only across a valley, so yeah, two or three miles away. So what I've done, I've built this ground plane antenna, which is supposed to work, and I have tried it out, and yes it does, with the 817, so I need to try it out with the 897, so I'm going to tell you how it was built, what I went through, things like that, I'm not going to show you, because uh, what was the point of me showing you if uh, I've already built it, so there you go, so yeah, built a ground plane antenna, use a formula of uh, 234, divide that by the frequency and you get your element length which is very standard. So with that here is my description that I recorded, it's not a video, yeah. even though what you are seeing in the image is video especially with the uh, with the connection where the SO239 is, that is video, it's not an image it's not a still image, it is actual video I just cut and paste it, kept pasting it all the way along because uh, it's simpler to actually do that instead of just spending five or six minutes with a camera pointing at SO239 as a ground plane antenna so there you go, so that's all I've done we'll now go and show you and tell you how I've done it. You'll see the antenna, uh, what I've done, and hear my explanation. So that's it basically. So um, if you do decide to build one, I'll tell you about what I did, some of the problems that I've encountered, and how I got around them type of thing. So it's not a how-to, it's what I have done, me personally. So you're able to actually get through with that what it is that I did so yeah if you encounter those problems you know what to do so here's my explanation try not to be too derogatory about me being from Yorkshire yeah I'm from Yorkshire deal with it haha <laughs> anyway have fun enjoy yourself here's my explanation you'll see a, a report at the end of signal report so yeah, from GB3YW, which is something I cannot get, which is now down to S6 on the radio. 817, half a watt into a repeater that's 20, 30 miles away, indoors. Go figure. Right, here it is. Okay. So I made the ground plane antenna. I tried it first with aluminium or aluminium. Didn't work. I had to compress it in a vise and they weren't working as such. You know, taking too long to actually get the antenna well, the antenna elements to compress so I can actually drill through them and have them hold there. So I gave up on using aluminium or aluminium went back to the hardware store which is called B&Q here in the UK I've got some nice brass antenna style tubing these are 4 mil thick they're priced about £5 or so so you know I bought three and set about and they are, these are much more malleable that you know you can compress these much more better than you can do the aluminium so with that, you know, compress them and decided I'll, I'll try and put the bend in them to make it work. So I had to drill into this brass. Now the problem with drilling into brass is 
that the brass is slippy. Once you compress it, it's flat. So that took a bit of time. And oh well, I'm good. So I came to mounting all these four uh, ground plate elements on the SO239 for the negative. You know, the first two were great, they bent quite well. The next two, they weren't flattened enough. They, um, let's just say that they broke when it came to bending them to the 45 degree or so. So, with that, it was like, uh, okay, go out and buy some more. This time, slightly more careful. I bent them, I flattened them, and they worked. You know, it's working. So, with that, I now have a working antenna. Now, as you can see, four elements bent down to about 45 degrees works exceptionally well. The vertical, you know, because these are 4mm wide um, centers, these are tubes, it just slots nicely onto the center part of the SO239, so effectively it's a very snug fit, no soldering uh, is required. So, you know, there it is, you've got an SO239, these 4mm brass tubes, one slots on top, compress the other, other two, cut them in half to 49 centimeters. just bend them once you've attached them on, and that's all you have to do. You know, it's a very simple and a very quick way of actually making them. Now, I flattened them, and yeah, they were good, you know, but it's making the holes that you have to be wary of. I bought the 4 mil thin. Now you can buy one 4 mil brass tube, then go for the larger, for the ground planes. So all you need then is two of them. And that's to get, if you want to do the drilling, through the centre. You can do that if you want to, if not, you don't have to. Or you just drill a hole straight through the tube, mount it on as that, without compressing. Either way it's up to you, but that's how I made mine. It looks quite well. If say he's buying a load of um, steel rods, bending them to get round the uh, round the screw, you know, I thought I'll get around that. I didn't want to be doing that, so you know, I got some bit of brass, flattened it, drilled it, stuck it all together. That seems to have worked quite well. So that's how effectively I made it, as you can see there. Okay, now put out a call, let's see how things are. 2E0WHN uh, asking for a signal report. 2E0WHN. Okay, no worries, M0 LEV, 2E0WHN. Yeah, just testing out this ground plane antenna that I've just made, see how things are, things, how things are doing with it. Okay, not to worry, at least I'm making a trip. 2E0WHN. Okay, 2E0WHM mobile going clear of GB3YW and leaving the frequency, 73 to all. Turn the volume down. Now as you can see, it works. As you can see there, low power, very low power, in fact, probably about half a watt. So half a watt of power on uh, on an indoor antenna, which is if basically we fold the cable up, it's just here. There you go. That's where the antenna is. It's right 
close to the radio. Half a watt indoors in a building, in a bedroom. Yes, I'm in a bedroom. This is on the bed. And I'm making contact with GB3YW, which is over by Flockton. It's about a good 7 10 miles away, if that. So, uh, yep, ground plane antenna working quite well. So, there you go. From me, Will Northcote, saying bye for now. Bye.